the IRS is changing the W-4 form starting in 2020. How does this impact the way you set up your employees and withholding calculations? Let's find out. By the end of this lesson, you'll be able to record an employee's federal withholding adjustment information in payroll based on their completed W-4, describe how your Sage software uses this information to calculate the amount of withholding, and get ready to process 2020 payroll based on the W-4 changes. As you know, the W-4 is the form that employees complete to let you, the employer, know how much money to withhold from their paycheck for federal taxes. The IRS is changing this form in 2020 to increase the transparency and accuracy of the withholding system. The W-4 form before 2020 contains a line for the total number of allowances claimed. This is in line 5. This is being eliminated in the new W-4. The revised form has new steps, 2, 3, and 4, to account for adjustments which will affect withholding calculations. We'll examine how these steps relate to the employee setup in payroll in a moment. According to the IRS, all employees hired in or after 2020 must complete and submit the revised W-4 to you, the employer. Employees hired before 2020 are not required to complete and submit a new W-4. If you do not receive a new W-4 from them, you can continue to calculate their withholdings as before, based on their most recently submitted W-4 on file. To accommodate these federal withholding adjustment changes in the new W-4, version 18.4 of your Sage software adds new payroll fields and tax calculation variables. And the 2020 payroll tax update includes a new formula for calculating the amount of withholding. This means that if you use the payroll application, you must install the year-end version of the software and then download and install the 2020 payroll tax update before processing checks for 2020. Let's examine the new fields in payroll, how they relate to the revised W-4 form, and how they impact withholding calculations. After you upgrade to version 18.4 or higher, four new fields are added to the employee setup on the Entry Info tab. These fields correspond to the information on the new W-4 form. You must check the Use W-4 Amounts box to use these fields. Let's start with Step 1C and Step 2 of the form. These correspond to the Filing Status field on the employee setup and whether the withholding on their paycheck is calculated using the standard rate schedules. According to the IRS, if the employee checked the box in Step 2, the employer cannot use the standard withholding rate schedules and must use those that calculate a higher withholding. Your Sage software has added three more options in filing status for this purpose, H2, M2, and S2. These will use rate schedules to calculate a higher withholding for the employee. This means if the box in 2C is not checked, use H, M, S, or NR. And if the box is checked, use H2, M2, or S2. Step 3 is for child tax credits and other tax credits. If the employee entered a total in Step 3, you enter the amount in the Dependents box. This reduces the annual amount of wages subject to income tax withholding. The amount from Step 4A is for the employee's other estimated income for the year. You enter this in the Other Income box. This increases the annual amount of wages subject to income tax withholding. The amount from Step 4B indicates the amount of deductions that the employee expects to claim on their tax return other than the standard basic deduction. You enter this in the Deductions box. This reduces the annual amount of wages subject to income tax withholding. The amount from Step 4C 
indicates any additional tax that the employee wants to withhold from their pay for each pay period. This is not new. This existed on the old W-4 form as Line 6, and it was worded differently. You enter this amount in the employee tax screen. This is also not new. Select the adjustment method for the tax ID and enter the adjustment amount. For example, if the employee wishes to have an additional $100 taken out for federal withholding, select Add-on as the adjustment method and enter 100 as the adjustment amount. The Payroll Tax Calculator window is also updated to show these new fields to match the changes on the W-4. Next, let's examine how the W-4 changes affect the 2020 Federal Withholding Calculations in the Payroll application. When you upgrade to 18.4 or higher, two new tax calculation variables are added in the software. Use W-4 amounts and W-4 amounts. These tax calculation variables are needed for the 2020 payroll taxes. When you download and install the 2020 payroll tax update, it includes the new tax withholding schedules for 2020. You can view this in Setup, Taxes, Tax Rates. The tax ID for the federal withholding is FWH. Click Table to view the rate schedule for each filing status. Let's bring up the standard rate schedule for married. A new formula is automatically used in each federal withholding tax table setup. This formula checks to see if the Use W-4 Amounts box is checked on the employee setup. If it is, the amount of taxable income is calculated based on the amounts from the new W-4 form. If the box is not checked, it calculates the taxable income based on the old W-4 form. Do not change or remove this formula on the tax table setup. Because the formulas use the new tax variables, which in turn use the new W-4 fields that are required by the IRS, you should upgrade your software to 18.4 before installing the 2020 payroll tax update. Let's recap what you need to do to implement the changes from the new W-4 form. You must upgrade to software version 18.4 or higher to add the new payroll fields and tax calculation variables. Then, for any employee who completes and submits the new W-4, record those withholding adjustments on their employee record. Remember, employees hired before 2020 are not required to submit a new W-4. If they do not, you can continue to calculate their withholdings based on the last W-4 you have on file. Employees hired in and after 2020 must complete the new W-4 form. Then, before you process the first payroll for 2020, download and install the payroll tax update. Note that you should only install the 2020 taxes when you are completely finished with posting 2019 checks. And don't forget to close the year in payroll to reset the year-to-date accumulators before you process payroll for the new year. Want to learn more about the W-4 changes? On the IRS website, you can find instructions for the 2020 W-4 form and the 2020 Federal Income Tax Withholding Methods in Publication 15T. You can also find information in the SAGE Knowledge Base and in help topics in your payroll application.